As you may know, Laravel provides support for multiple logging services. But by default, when using Vapor, your application will use AWS CloudWatch. Now, this just means that if you haven't configured your logging services in your application, Vapor will provide you three ways of checking your logs. And the first one is by going to your Vapor UI dashboard and then you click in your environment name, Logs tab. Now, the Logs tab in Vapor doesn't aim to provide you a full robust logging solution. Yet, it can be very convenient to check your application most recent logs or to perform some basic searching. And keep in mind that you can also filter your logs by HTTP, CLI or Q. Next, the second way we have to check the logs in Vapor is using the equivalent of Telescope for Vapor, which is the Vapor UI dashboard package. But first we need to install it by typing Composer require Laravel Vapor UI. And soon as Composer ends up the installation, we can proceed by typing PHP Artisan Vapor UI install. And this will basically do two things. The first one is that it will publish the assets of the dashboard. And the second thing is it will create a service provider in your application, which is the place where you can configure who can access to your dashboard. And by default, nobody can access to your dashboard. All right, so let's configure that. So let's open our app, providers, Vapor UI service provider, and then scroll all the way down until the method gate, which is the place where you can define the list of emails who can have access to your dashboard. In this case, I'm gonna just head myself. And finally, you also need to ensure that you are compiling your assets at the build hook step. Once you have this ready, we can close our Sublime Text and issue a new deployment by typing Vapor Deploy Staging. So while the deployment is being done, let's get back to our browser so we can see our vanity domain. The dashboard is actually placed at slash Vapor UI. But of course, because our deployment is not yet completed, I do get a 404. But keep in mind that once the deployment is completed, I expect not to be able to access my dashboard because I'm not connected yet. Remember, only the emails specified on the gate do have access to this dashboard. So let's hit another refresh. And I can see now that I got a 403 forbidden and that means sure enough that our deployment is completed meaning that the only thing I need to do now is connect myself so I can have access to my dashboard. So let's uh, put slash login and I'm going to connect myself by typing my credentials and then I'm going to click on login. And now that I'm connected, I can visit the Vapor UI without any troubles. The Vapor UI dashboard package provides you an easy and quick way to review your logs starting from a specific date. Let's, for example, throw an exception on our application and see it coming in this dashboard. So I'm going to open a new tab and copy paste a link where I know I'm going to throw an exception. Then I'm going to get back to my Vapor UI and I'm going to filter my logs starting from a minute ago. And quickly you can see the error coming and then we can click on the details of this error. And then of course I can check all the details about this exception in this detail view. I can also see the entire payload of the exception. And one cool thing is that you can share this exception with colleagues if you want to. And for that just click on share and then copy paste the given link in your browser. Now, finally also about Vapor UI is that you can filter the logs by HTTP, CLI and Q. As example, if you click on CLI, you can see all your schedule commands being executed. And there is a little bit more into Vapor UI such as job monitoring or retrying failed queue jobs, but we are going to talk all of this in the future. Let's now review the third alternative to check your logs with Vapor. 
If your application doesn't boot and the log stop doesn't give you the information you need, you might need to check directly the AWS CloudWatch dashboard. For that, you first need to find the Lambda service, click on it, and then it will appear three Lambda functions. Each of the Lambda functions is corresponding to the HTTP layer, CLI layer, and Q layer. In this case, I want to visit the HTTP layer. Then you will need to scroll all the way down until the tab monitor. Then scroll again until you find the button View Logs in CloudWatch. And finally, click on Search All to see all the log events concerning my Lambda function. And keep in mind that some of those events or messages are really not important. Yet, when you are facing a problem in your application, and we can simulate that by throwing an exception, you may use AWS CloudWatch by filtering the logs by, for example, one minute ago, and then you can find some important information that you may use to debug the problem you are facing. And that's it about logs in Vapor.